Welcome to my channel. I'm going to change the sway bar link both sides on a Toyota Prado 120 series. Here's the part number. Make sure you get the right side. They are marked the left hand side. And right hand side. And these red plastic caps are only there to protect the rubbers so they don't get damaged. So make sure you take the red caps off before you install them. Because it's behind the wheel, I'm going to take the wheel off to get it out of the way. I'm going to put a stand under it. Just in case the jack fails. There it is there. Comparison of the new one compared to the old one. The rubbers have gone in these. So dirt has got in to the joints and made them rattle. It does have a right way and a wrong way to sit. That would be the wrong way. That's the right way. Long bolt to the top, and the shorter bolt goes to the bottom. Now because I've jacked the car up to get the wheel off, there's a lot of strain against that at the moment, because the other side is still connected. Now these are a 19 mil. Now that's only finger tight. The other nut is down around the back. Now that one is turning. Now because that lower one is rotating, you need a six mil Allen key to go in the end. So put your ring on first. And your Allen key.
that one's also only finger tight. I've got the other side still on the stand, but I'll put the wheel back on just in case it falls off the stand while I undo this wheel. Now I'll jack this side up and put a stand under it as well. Now the whole front end's off the ground with the two stands. This is the left side big bolt to the top small bolt to the bottom same as on the right side but obviously the other side these ones have got perished rubbers the same as the other side they're all ripped and they shake around when you're driving sound like a heap of rocks caught up on the bash plates turning just that was turning just then at the beginning seems to have stopped turning now starting to turn again so I'll need to use that allen key sometimes you'll need to clean all the mud and dirt out of the end of the bolt so you can get the allen key in there Okay, let's finger tight. The lower one. Nope, that one wants to turn. They're both finger tight. Back onto the right hand side. A lot easier when there's no pressure on the sway bar.
soon as the rubber rips, dirt gets in there and it makes the linkages loose and they start clunking and rattling around that's the old one and the new one long bolt to the top short bolt to the bottom Take the plastic protectors off. And remember to put the big one at the top, small one at the bottom. And because this is the right hand side, make sure it's got the right hand side on there, got the RH. Putting the bottom one in first, only thing to tie it. Push that down so it lines up. And push it in. They're both finger tight. Now I'm going back over to the left hand side. When you take the nut off, it just comes out. Not as bad as the other side, but it's still got cracks and spots where the dirt's got in, make it all rattly. Use the new one. Take the plastic caps off, long bolt to the top, short bolt to the bottom, that nut's finger tight. Shut down a bit. I'm just pushing the, the bolt down a bit to line up the hole. So I can slide into place. Because it's a nice tight joint, the bolt takes a bit of pushing. Now that one's only finger tight. 19 mil. The six mil Allen key. Nice and tight. And the lower one. Key out of the way. Put 
they're both nice and tight now the left side's tight so we're back on the right side Should be tight enough that we don't need the allen key anymore. It's nice and tight. Now the lower one. This one wants to be stubborn and the allen key keeps moving. That's pretty tight. Then that's the right hand side tight. Now I just have to put the wheels back on and lower it down. When you're putting your wheels back on, make sure you align the holes properly. It usually only takes one or two wheel nuts to align your holes properly. Because of the design of these nuts, you need that to go into the hole of your wheel. If the hole is not aligned properly, the edge of that will catch on your wheel shaving off some of the hole and you can destroy your wheels by doing that
sometimes taking this center cap off can help because the edge of that rubs on the plastic as you go in that's where that rubbing sound is then when you get past it the nuts just go straight on so that one's still rubbing on the plastic now it's past it and it's fine Uh, because it's on stands, I'll go put the other wheel on first before letting it down. And then I'll tighten both wheels properly when it's on the ground. See how the holes are not centered properly to the studs? That's when the wheel nut will shave off that little bit. So don't tighten it when it's like that or you will destroy your wheels. So what I did there was I put the wheel nuts on so they were right down against the edge of that rim there, then back them off a little bit, then pull the wheel this way as I wiggled it, then it slid, the wheel slid over that, making them all centered. So now if I put on a couple more nuts, It'll hold it like it. The other side went on relatively easily. But this side wants to be a bit of a pain. Feels like it's all lined up now. And I left that bottom one out just so I could keep an eye on it because it was giving me so much trouble. Now I just need to tighten it enough to put it on the ground and tighten both sides properly. Now tighten it enough to put on the ground.
just making sure I didn't miss any. Now to get both stands out. One stand out. Check it up to get the other stand out. and tighten the wheel nuts up properly. Just going over them again, make sure I didn't miss any. Now the other side. Now we just check them all. I'm going around, make sure I didn't miss any. And usually that's the cause of the rattle in the front end. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.